Have you ever wondered what the natural world can teach us if we only took the time to observe and listen? In the hustle and bustle of our modern lives, it's easy to forget that we are part of something much larger than ourselves. This something is nature, an intricate tapestry woven with threads of life, survival, and adaptation. It's a world where even the smallest creature plays a crucial role in the grand scheme of things. But what if I told you that nature is more than just a spectacle to behold? That this complex web of life holds wisdom that we as humans can learn from? Yes, nature is not just a silent observer, it's an excellent teacher and a source of inspiration. It holds valuable lessons within its folds, lessons about life, survival, adaptation and resilience. Lessons that we can apply to our own lives to navigate the choppy waters of existence. Take for instance the mighty oak tree. It starts as a tiny acorn, facing countless threats in its vulnerable early days. Yet, it weathers storms and droughts, and over time, it grows into a towering symbol of strength and endurance. It teaches us about resilience, about the power of persistence, and the beauty of growth. Or consider the humble honeybee, darting from flower to flower, collecting nectar. It might seem like a small, insignificant creature, yet it plays a vital role in pollination, contributing to the life cycle of countless plants. It teaches us about the importance of every role, no matter how small, in maintaining balance. Nature, in its infinite wisdom, teaches us to respect the cycle of life, to understand that there is a time for growth and a time for rest. It shows us how to adapt to changes, to survive against all odds, and to thrive in the face of adversity. In the grand classroom of Mother Nature, every day is a lesson, and every creature, a teacher. All we need to do is observe, listen, and learn. So, let's embark on a journey to discover the wisdom in nature. In the wild, survival is the name of the game. The natural world is a grand stage where the drama of life and death unfolds every moment. Each species, whether flora or fauna, employs impressive strategies to thrive against all odds. Let's take the cactus, for instance. In the scorched, unforgiving desert terrains, it stands tall and green. Its spiky exterior isn't just for show, it's a suit of armor protecting the plant from hungry predators. But the real magic happens beneath the surface, where the roots sprawl deep and wide, sucking up every drop of water they can find. The cactus shows us that to survive, we must make the most of what we have, however scarce it may be. In the animal kingdom, the humble chameleon provides a masterclass in survival. It's not the strongest or fastest, but it's a master of disguise. With the ability to change its skin color, the chameleon blends into its surroundings, becoming almost invisible to predators. It teaches us that sometimes, survival isn't about brute strength, but the ability to adapt and blend in. But survival isn't just about individuals, it's also about communities. Take the Emperor Penguins of Antarctica. In the face of brutal winters, they huddle together, sharing warmth and protecting each other from the cold. It's a beautiful example of how cooperation and unity can help us weather the harshest storms. And lastly, let's not forget the majestic oak tree. It doesn't just survive, it thrives living for hundreds of years. It withstands storms and droughts, growing stronger with each passing year. The oak tree embodies resilience, showing us that survival is also about enduring and growing from hardships. In our own lives, we face various challenges, big and small. But nature shows us that survival isn't just about getting through the tough times, it's about adapting, evolving and growing stronger from our experiences. Just like the cactus in the desert, the chameleon in the jungle, the emperor penguins in Antarctica, and the oak tree standing tall against the elements, we too can thrive in the face of adversity. To survive nature teaches us to adapt, evolve and never give up. Balance is not just a concept, it's a law of nature. In the grand tapestry of life, every thread has its place, and every organism, no matter how small, plays a role in maintaining the balance of nature. From the towering trees to the microscopic fungi, each has a part to play in this intricate ballet of existence. Consider the African savanna, where the relationship between predators and prey is a perfect illustration of nature's equilibrium. 
predators keep the herbivore population in check, preventing overgrazing that could decimate plant life. Simultaneously, herbivores control the plant population, ensuring that vegetation doesn't overwhelm the landscape. It's a delicate dance, where each participant is crucial to the whole performance. This concept of balance extends beyond the physical. It is mirrored in the cyclical exchange of energy that fuels all life on Earth. Plants convert sunlight into food through photosynthesis, a process that also produces oxygen, which animals need to survive. In turn, animals produce carbon dioxide, which plants require for photosynthesis. It's a beautiful and balanced exchange, a perpetual give and take that sustains life. The balance in nature also serves as a lesson for us humans. Just as an ecosystem thrives when all its elements are in harmony, so too do our lives flourish when balance is achieved. We need a balance between work and leisure, between time spent with others and time spent alone, between periods of exertion and periods of rest. Too much of one thing can tip the scales and create discord, just as an overpopulation of predators can disrupt an ecosystem. But don't mistake balance for stagnation. Nature is dynamic, always adapting and evolving. What seems like a disturbance can often lead to a new equilibrium, a shift that allows for growth and resilience. The same applies to our lives. Balance doesn't mean avoiding change, but rather embracing it and finding the equilibrium within it. So, let's take a leaf out of nature's book. Let's strive for balance in all areas of our lives, knowing that it's the key to resilience, harmony, and overall well-being. Nature shows us that balance is key to a healthy and harmonious life. Life and death, two sides of the same coin in the natural world. In the grand theater of nature, the spectacle of life unfolds in a cycle that's as old as time itself. It begins with birth, an event that ushers in a new player on the stage of existence. The seed sprouts, the chick hatches, the cub is born, each beginning its journey in the vast web of life. From birth, they embark on a path of growth, an intricate dance of change and transformation. The caterpillar metamorphoses into a butterfly, the sapling stretches towards the sky, becoming a towering tree. Growth is not just physical, it's also a process of learning, adapting, and evolving. It's about the chick learning to fly, the cub learning to hunt. Each creature, in its own way, finding its place in the grand scheme of things. Then comes the phase of reproduction, where life begets life. It's a testament to the enduring spirit of existence the drive to continue the cycle, to ensure that life persists, the tree drops its seeds, the butterfly lays its eggs, and the cycle begins anew. Reproduction is not just about survival, it's about perpetuation, the legacy of life passed on from generation to generation. However, all life inevitably meets its end. Death, often perceived with dread, is in fact an integral part of nature's cycle. It's not an end, but a transformation, a return to the earth from whence we came. The fallen tree nourishes the soil, the deceased animal provides sustenance for scavengers. Even in death, life finds a way to persist, to contribute to the ongoing cycle. In this cycle, nature doesn't mourn death, nor does it excessively celebrate life. It simply accepts both as the ebb and flow of existence, the rhythm to the melody of life. It's a cycle that's been in motion for eons, a cycle that will continue long after we're gone. Nature teaches us to accept and respect the cycle of life and death as a natural process. In nature, teamwork can often mean the difference between life and death. Just as we humans lean on each other's strengths to build societies, animals in the wild form alliances and cooperate to survive and thrive. Take for instance, the fascinating world of ants. A single ant might seem insignificant, but when they band together, they form a superorganism capable of complex tasks. They construct intricate underground cities, forage for food, and even wage wars. Each ant plays a specific role, and through their collective effort, they achieve feats that are impossible for an individual. In the deep blue sea, we find another stunning example of collaboration. Dolphins are known for their intelligence and social skills. They hunt in groups, using a technique called herding, 
where they surround a school of fish, tighten their circle, and take turns to feast. This strategy not only increases their hunting success, but also strengthens their social bonds. Our feathered friends in the sky, the geese, showcase a remarkable display of teamwork during their long migratory journeys. They fly in a V formation to reduce wind resistance and conserve energy. When the leading goose tires it falls back and another takes its place, demonstrating a profound lesson in shared leadership and mutual support. In the grand scheme of life, these examples are but a mere glimpse into the power of synergy in the natural world. And we, as part of this intricate web of life, are no different. Our societies, just like ant colonies or dolphin pods, rely on cooperation and unity. We build cities, create art, innovate, and solve complex problems, not as individuals, but as a collective. The lessons from nature are profound. They remind us that no matter how big or small, every member of a team has a role to play, that shared goals can be achieved through mutual support and cooperation. From nature, we learn that unity and cooperation can lead to great achievements. Let's embrace the wisdom of the natural world and harness the power of synergy in our lives. Nature is a vibrant tapestry of diversity, a kaleidoscope of life painted in a myriad of colors, shapes and sizes. From the smallest microorganisms to the largest mammals, each species plays a unique role in the grand scheme of things. This is the beauty of diversity in nature. It's not just about the variety of life forms, but the intricate relationships and interactions between them. In the dense rainforests, we find a cornucopia of plant and animal species, each adapted to their specific niche. In the vast oceans, marine life thrives in every depth and temperature. From the frigid poles to the scorching deserts, life finds a way, demonstrating the remarkable adaptability of nature. But why is diversity so important? Diversity in all its forms is the key to resilience. When a single species faces a threat, others step in to fill the void, ensuring the survival of the ecosystem. The more diverse an ecosystem, the more it can withstand changes and challenges, just like a well-diversified investment portfolio. And the beauty of this diversity? It's not just physical. It's in the harmonious symphony of life, where each species, no matter how big or small, contributes to the melody. It's in the myriad of colors that paint our landscapes, from the fiery reds of autumn leaves to the cool blues of the ocean depths. Just as in nature, diversity is equally important in human society. It fosters innovation, creativity and resilience. Different perspectives, experiences and ideas come together to solve complex problems and create a more vibrant and resilient world. So, let's take a leaf from nature's book. Let's appreciate the diversity around us. Let's celebrate the myriad of colors, shapes and sizes that paint the vibrant tapestry of our world. Let's embrace the different perspectives, experiences and ideas that make us unique. Nature teaches us to appreciate and celebrate diversity for a vibrant and resilient world.